Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm here to share a post review for my final kit of 2022. Uh, I feel like, what is this, the second full week of January that I'm sharing this, so that's not too bad. <laughs> Some people are still in the Christmas mood. We have two of our trees still up, so we got a little bit of Christmas spirit still. But anyway, um, this is the last kit I completed. I completed this on January, no. January. Oh my gosh. December 30th. Um, and I love it. I think it came out so good. Now I really don't have anything bad, quote unquote bad to say about this kit. So if you're looking for that in this post review, uh, I, I really, I can honestly say I don't have anything bad to say. I'm trying to remember what the drills were like, but we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, but this was a really good experience with this kit. Now, uh, I had been waiting for this for a while. Last Christmas, Christmas of 2021, it was released in Hobby Lobby and I couldn't find it anywhere. It was out of stock on the website. I couldn't find it at Hobby Lobby and I was super bummed. So when Diamond Art Club restocked this on their website, I was thrilled. I jumped on it and I knew I wanted to complete it this year. So, well, last year. <laughs> confusing. Isn't it so confusing at the beginning of the year when you're like, this year? No, last year. No, what year is it? I have no idea. So anyway, <laughs> uh, this is Starry Night. No, yes. Okay. This kit, man, has been messing with me the whole time. It's called a Starry Night Santa by Donna Gelsinger. I called it Starry-Eyed Santa in my notebook, which is weird. It is a 42 by 57 centimeter square drill. There were 38 colors and two ABs. Uh, really, really cute kit. You're seeing most of it, but I will pop a picture up here so you can see the full length. Um, I, I mean, I could just put it this way and you could see everything, but I like adding a picture in <laughs> when I remember. So <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty good with my post review those, my post reviews though, because I'm always like, put a picture in here. <laughs> um, I don't actually watch my videos back completely. I just look for me to like be prompting myself to put in a picture. Like this is all gonna confuse me when I go to edit this video. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I, there was a lot of color blocking in this kit, uh, which kind of is surprising. When I first started working on it, I started at the bottom, the bottom right hand of my kits. So when I started over here, I was kind of like, huh, is this going to be confetti or color blocking? I can't decide. And uh, it was really just a lot of color blocking. There are quite a few shades of dark blue and you just kind of roll with it. I think I used a 10 placer on this kit which is surprising. Maybe it was a seven placer. I don't go as big when I multi-place with squares as I do with rounds. So maybe it was a seven. Uh, I also really enjoyed the AB placement on this kit. So there are a lot of white ABs. Uh, most of the snow was ABs. And if it wasn't white, then it was like a light blue. So you guys can actually see that quite well. Um, I actually saw someone in, I think it was the VIP Facebook group that was saying they don't like white ABs because they feel like the pink is too strong. And I will say Diamond Art Club's white ABs 141 have a very, very strong pink reflection to them. If you purchase ABs from other places, they aren't that pink. Uh, so that is kind of my one gripe I guess about this kit is I do agree with that statement because that's how Diamond Art Club's white ABs look. Uh, I swap out a lot of 5200 and 3865. Those are the white DMCs. Uh, I swap out a lot of those colors in my paintings because I love those ABs but when I work with them from Diamond Art Club I do definitely see that pink slash purple flashback. Uh, so if you're ever working with a kit from Diamond Art Club and you don't like that, you could, if you wanted to, uh, pick up some drills, some ABs from DP with Sparklers, which actually, I'm working with 3865 AB right now from DP with Sparklers. 
and hopefully like theirs are just a, a, a lot more subtle which I do prefer like there's definitely still a little bit of a pink flashback but compared to Diamond Art Club I feel like it's not as I don't want to say bad but it's not as strong I guess that's my thought on that kind of a tangent there but that's my thought <laughs> so I did really enjoy this kit I had good luck with the drill field this go around which if you watched my last post review you know I had a little bit of a hard time so I was happy with that the only thing I will say is there is quite a bit of gapping with these square drills now I don't know if this is the newer model of their canvas where the drill field has been shrunk I I can't confirm that it's not awful but it's definitely noticeable in some spots and like I said I do multi-place so some of it could be for me but I do feel like there are parts where I laid the drills pretty well but there's still quite a bit of gapping so I guess that's really my only critique and when you're viewing these kits from a distance like you're supposed to I feel like it's not very noticeable and also I don't hang my diamond paintings so uh I don't worry about it too much because this will just be put away I may frame this one and hang it next year which side note I am in the middle of re not even revamping I'm in the middle of creating a little reading area I've talked about it a couple of times and when it's finished I will share it with you guys in a bonus video but I'm thinking that I may actually pick a diamond painting or two to hang in that little area and I'm very excited. I'm like, how am I gonna pick? So I think I might change them out seasonally. I think that that might be cool. So maybe this will end up on the wall next Christmas, we'll see. So let's talk about the drills. I used my Elizabeth Ward storage system for this kit. And in terms of trash drills, I didn't think it was too bad. I had plenty of every color, so it definitely was fine. Uh, if you have watched my post reviews for a while, I always say like, as long as I had enough drills to complete the painting, I don't care how much trash I have. Um, but for this size, I don't think that that's bad at all. And most of them had little holes on the top. I don't know if that's gonna pick up on the camera, but they have little tiny holes on the top, so. And some of them just had like extra knobbly pieces, um, but hopefully you can see some of those with the holes on top. So that was my trash. And the ABs in this kit were 131 and 141. So here's kind of a little bit of a better view of what I was trying to say about those white ABs. They're just very heavy on the pink flashback. And there are some others on the market that do not lean that pink. Uh, so I did say that the 141 is wherever you see white, uh, there is that 141 color. They didn't chart um, 5200 or 3865. If it's not the white AB, it's I think 3770 or 3756, which are like kind of pale pinky neutral colors. And then the 131 was all of the little windows in the houses and the church. So I did like that placement as well. Here are all of my drills. Like I said, I had plenty of everything. These were very staticky though. So I do have uh, dryer sheets in all of these containers, uh, but that pretty much solved the problem. All right, so for my accessories, I used a try here from JH and Vision Labs. Now I will say I'm a little disappointed with this particular tray. I have had these in my collection for quite a while. These are my go-to trays for a very long time and I still very much enjoy them. I'm actually using one on my current project as well, but they're starting to fall apart. So I have cut off filament, which I don't know if I'm supposed to do because that's what makes the tray itself, but um it's really it's starting to fall apart and that's a bummer but maybe they've just paid their dues and it's time to <laughs> replace it not a big deal just something to note uh my pen here is from jim's handmade pen shop it's just little silver snowflakes 
My cover minder is from Country Craft Closet. I just thought it was cute. It was like wintry and Christmassy without being like in your face. I was tempted to do a Santa minder, but I didn't. I broke my multi placer in this kit. I don't know why I kept that, but I did. Uh, my putty and wax are both from Randa's Crafty Corner, and they're both in the scent Aspen Winter. This smells so good. I really enjoyed that. My washi tape is from Amanda Michelle Designs, and the skinny one, which I used on my containers, is just from a multi-pack on Amazon. And I did use one of my little silver snowflake release papers from Crafts with Crashly. So those are my thoughts on this kit from Diamond Art Club. This was my last kit of 2022. It was really fun to end the year with this one. It was just like... It was a really good exit from Christmas and entrance into like winter themed kits. So really cute, really fun. I do recommend if you uh, would like to work on it. So again, this is Starry Night Santa by Donna Gelsinger. It's a 42 by 57 centimeter uh, square drill from Diamond Art Club. And yeah, those are my thoughts. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.